Well, hello again, friends. My name is Reverend Thomas Harper, and I'm a pastor of St. Luke's United Methodist Church in Bryan College Station. And this is Weekly Theistic Reflections, where each week I take a verse of Scripture and I unpack it a little bit. I've entitled this episode, The Shortest Verse in the Bible. Scripture that I picked for today is John 11:35. Jesus wept. This is the Word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. One of the ways in which the God that Christians worship are different than, say, the gods of Greek or Roman origin is that God is intentional and cares about his creation, wants to be in relationship and actually will sacrifice for his creation in order to do so. When I think about some of the ways in which Jesus is so human at times, I think about when he's in the garden praying and asking the Father, uh, not my will, but your will, but if it's possible, would this cup pass over me? Sweating blood. I think about uh, Jesus lamenting over the nation of Israel and saying, if, if you would have just come to me, how I long to draw you in as a hen draws in their young. And then I think about this verse. This shortest verse in all of scripture comes from a larger story when Jesus was visiting his friend Lazarus who had died. And as he goes to the tomb, he weeps for his friend. What a human thing. What a human thing for a God to do, to weep for his friend. Now, I, I talk about in another episode kind of the theological significance that Jesus in this moment would choose to take the sacred time to grieve even though he knew in just a few moments he was going to resurrect his friend. But there is a lot of theology in these two words. Jesus wept. Because it means that we have a God that has been in it with us. We have a God that is not wholly separate from our lives knows what it means to grieve, knows what it means to weep and be in pain. Consider the ramifications of that in your faith. Think about the fact that if there's a God that is untouchable, unreachable, immutable, how does that God connect to us? Or maybe a better question is, how do we connect to that God? But that is not our God. Our God is a God that has traveled undescribable distances just to be with us again. In Revelation, it talks about a new heaven and a new earth and how things like grief and sorrow and crying shall be no more because those things have passed away. But until then, know that in your grief, when you're sad, when you're struggling, you have a God that has felt all of those things. Not too long ago, I did another episode where I talked about what it feels like that your body no longer does what your body wants to do anymore. Guys, we have a God that knows what that feels like. There's nothing here on earth that we could experience that God himself has not experienced on our behalf so that those things would pass away forever. We're in the Christmas season again, friends. And so maybe now is a good time to remember what this is all about. This is all about the infinite, sovereign, all-powerful God of the universe coming into our world, becoming mortal and everything that comes with that, and becoming as helpless as a human child so that God could reconcile all of this back to him. Here's a question that I want you to ponder. Is there something in your life, an area in which you are grieving? I want you to imagine God being there next to you, grieving alongside you, being sad when you are sad, so that you can take time to feel what you need to feel in this moment. 
While you're here, I invite you to check out this video. It's a video I entitled, Does God Answer Our Prayers? I think it's a good continuation from this conversation of why do we pray? What does it mean when we pray? Do we, what, do we have any power or influence over God as we pray? Uh, what exactly is happening when we go to God with our hearts and our prayers? So if you're interested in more of that conversation, I invite you to check out this video here. If you're in the Brian Call Station area, I invite you to check us out. We have a worship service every single Sunday morning at 10 a.m. We also live stream right here via Facebook so you can get to know past services and kind of what we're about. But until next time, friends, uh, as we enter into this holiday season, and that, that can be really hard sometimes for people uh, who are grieving in this time of the season. I want you to think about what it means that we have a God that would weep, that, that would come to our level and experience the pain, the sadness, and the sorrow that we have all felt at times in our life in order that we might be reunited back to him again. And that someday, all of those things, the sadness, the grief, and the tears, will be just a memory. They will have faded away forever. Until next time, friends, continue to love each other well. Take care.